Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any terrain from Google Map 3D and import into Unreal Engine 5.1 to make it become a game scene that I can show you like this. Now you can see all of these terrains are from Himalaya. The mountain Everest is at here. And actually the original terrain is from the Google Map 3D. This is a Google Map 3D, the mountain Everest. Now everything ready in Unreal Engine. With proper collisions, the player can, can interact with this terrain and work on that. And you can make it big, you can make it small, but how to do this? And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. Right. So first I'm going to close the Unreal Engine. At the same time, I'm going to close the Google Map 3D browser. And I will show you step by step, just from beginning, how to do this. All right, first what you are going to do is just go to my video descriptions. Go and get the Google Map 3D Grabber. Get this and download it as a zip file. Once you already download it as a zip file, then you have to extract it into the folder that I show you. Right. Once you download it and extract it, the Google Map 3D Grabber, the first step what you are going to do is install the Google Chrome browser. You must have the Google Chrome first and then use the installer that provided provided by me. This one, render.1.13. Install this, install this in your computer so that your computer already have the render doc. Right, this is the one. Use this version. At the same time, here I already provided you a Blender 3.0. The plugin that required to import the maps is already pre-installed inside. So just use mine and no need to use the latest version of the Blender. It may not compatible. Just use mine. Everything, use all of this. Once done already, the first step, what you are going to do is All right, wait. All right, first, you open the render doc. Open the render doc. Then, click File, Inject into Process. At here, type Chrome, C H R O M E, Chrome. Next, Open the Google Chrome by using by using this. This is a shortcut that provided by me, the Google Chrome render doc shortcut. Just double click to open, then click open. Then you can see it will show you a conversation. At the same time, it is totally blank. So you have to back to your render doc immediately, then click refresh until you see Google Chrome CPU. Click and inject. Next step. Click OK for this Google Chrome GPU. OK. Then, everything will start normally and you should be able to see all of this white text with black background. Everything like this. Right, next, just go to the Google Map 3D. Maps.google.com Right. The first step, what you are going to do is just click the layer. Without clicking, just point your mouse cursor to the layer. You should be able to see the more. And always remember the globe view you have to make sure you take it. It must be in a globe view. This is really important. Then turn on the satellite. Done. Then close this. Next, just go to find any of the terrain that you want. For example, I can search at here, Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon, USA. For all of this terrain, to turn on the 3D, you can just click the 3D, hold the shift, then you can move it. You can see all of these are, are the terrain in the real world and you may feel that you want to capture it. For example, I want to capture this part. 
So in order to capture it, just have to click the 2D and back to the 2D. Then go to the render dock. Capture after delay, you put as 5 seconds. Here, 5 seconds. Then click capture after delay. Back to here. You have to keep on within 5 seconds, keep on moving the map like this. Until you can see, after 5 seconds, it captured already. One captures safe. Back to your render dock. Right here. Next up, save this. As demo, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. Name this as Grand Canyon. Right now. Now, I double click to open. And then right click this, right click to save it at here. It is on my desktop, Grand Canyons. Right. I may just name this as USA01, it's okay. Grand Canyon 01. Then click save. It is going to save it as RDC file. Right. Next. Back to the Google Map 3D Grabber that provided by me. Open. Open the Blender 3.0 that provided by me. And then go into the Blender. If this is the first time you open, you have to make sure you click Edit. Preferences. Preferences here. Search Map. You should be able to see a Maps Model Importer. This is to import the RDC. You have to make sure you, you activate, tick and ac activate this plugin, then close it. Then remove all of this, delete, press delete button to delete all. Then next, import the RDC file, click file. Now you should be able to see file imports the Google map capture, the RDC file. This is a plugin that already pre-installed, you have to activate it. The Google Map RDC, you import it from the desktop Grand Canyon, this is mine. Double click and wait for a while until it finish. Now it is loading, it may show not responding at here sometimes. Right now everything loaded, just have a look. Next, I click here. Now you can see it, it already it already activated the texture. Next, you can see all of these are different meshes. It is a combination of different meshes. What we can do is just select everything and press Ctrl J. Then everything it combined to become just a single mesh. Then the next step, export as FBX file. Always remember in this tutorial, we are going to import into import the terrain from Google Map 3D into the Unreal Engine 5.1. So the final destination is Unreal Engine 5.1 to make it become a game scene. So in this step, just export it as FBX file. Click File, Export, FBX. Export in this folder, Control C to copy the folder destination location and click here, Control V to paste and press Enter. And also to make sure of the texture material embedded inside the FBX file, then the path mode you have to choose copy and here you have to activate it. Then the file name I'm going to name this as Grand Canyon. Right now I click export FBX. It is going to export here. If you double click to open, then it is going to open by using the 3D viewer of your Microsoft window. Then now, we are going to import this terrain into the Unreal Engine 5.1. Now I can close the Blender without saving. And as demo, I'm going to just open my Unreal Editor. This is the Unreal Editor 5.1. Then, as demo, I'm going to just create a fresh new game project, a third person game project. The project name is my project 19. I click create. All the demo, I will just, just make it at a new project. I'm going to show you step by step everything.
right now if this is a third person a third person template a third person game project if you try to play you can see this is the player this is the mana queen the ue5 mana queen she can walk she can run on the terrain of the the sample map all right now first of course we are going to import the fbx and i'm going to show you step by step how to set the collisions first just create a new folder grand canyon and then import the fbx file drag and drop to here next click import all it is going to import as as a static mesh i close it the static mesh is where is it we have to find it out which one is the static mesh it is set here if you point your mouse cursor it show you grand canyon static mesh all right this is the one double click it to to have a check now all of the terrain are completed next you have to make sure you scroll down set the collision properly the collision setting is at wait the collision setting is at here the collision presets block or the collision complexity you have to change it to become use complex collision as simple choose this then click save close now if you drag this out the static mesh it is going to appear appear at here all right so of course i may make it bigger press r then drag it to make it bigger press w this is just a demo so i'm going to put the player starts at here the player starts i'm going to leave it up all right now if i try to play you can see the player already can interact can interact with this with proper collisions this is the grand canyon right now the player is working on that right now everything worked properly and this is the rebel just now all right that's that's all the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to import the google map 3d any of the terrains you can import it into the unreal engine 5.1 to set to set the collision properly and make it become a become a game scenes for your player and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d modeling 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial or sharing you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy happy 3d modeling 3d animation and game developing see you